All righty. How is everybody doing today? How's everybody doing today? How is chat doing? We are going to be looking at the uh, next absolutely insane batshit unbelievable shit going on with Xena and Poppy. <sighs> All right. So I've done some off stream, a little bit of reading. I still wanted to maintain my, uh, you know, my genuine first time reaction, but I've done a little bit of reading off stream and, uh, there's a, there's a tagline in one of these, in one of these documents. Let me find which one. Don't worry, it gets worse. This is a motto that we've wryly adopted within our group. It's a bit of gallows humor that we use to remind new people and ourselves to calm down as they and we learn new things. Don't worry, it gets worse. And holy shit, my guys, I cannot, I cannot explain to you how bad it gets. And I'm trying to decide whether we just go full, whole hog, all gas, no brakes, full send, straight into the worst shit. I don't know. Or if we, worse than gynomorph, you have no clue, my guy. You have no clue. It's actually, it's actually despicable. It's actually un, un real. I, I was saying, I, I was saying after, immediately after stream, when we read the first doc on the emotional train Xena and Poppy ran on that Noe person before they emotionally manipulated her into them and then when she uh, <laughs> did not want to stay in a relationship with the emotional abusers uh they called her a rapist if you thought that you know like i i i reading those messages i just want to like give you guys like some insight into into my psyche for a second i'm either extremely sheltered or just like a very lucky person or maybe uh you know, the meme about BPD women being more attractive and having, you know, the best or whatever the, you know, I, it, it, I've just never experienced or, or seen anyone that I know that has ever gone through some shit like that. Like it was actually disgusting the way that they, 15 hours straight of just Massive emotional manipulation and uh, in a very masterful way. Let, don't get me wrong. Like, they knew what they were doing. They, they knew what they were doing when they were working in, in conjunction to beat this person down until they had no more will to continue fighting. They threatened to kill themselves, right? And honestly, again, this was a dog pile, right? It wasn't 1v2. This was 1v45, like okay? Because there's so many uh, extra players in, in Poppy's head, okay? This was, this was, you know, one of those... Uh, you ever play Super Smash Brothers, the Polygon team? This was the Polygon team versus Noe, but they were all level nines, and Noe's never played this game before. All right, this was advanced abuse techniques. <laughs> and, uh, and so anyway, I, I've never seen some shit like that. I've had, like, I've helped friends who have been in ab uh, abusive relationships before, right? Like, uh, one, one friend I had a long time ago, she had to have me and, like, five other guys come over to her house to grab all of her shit because her very abusive boyfriend was there and she just wanted her shit so she could leave and uh, she didn't want to go alone. I've seen some abuse like that. This was 
I'm not going to like compare and contrast how bad abuse is physical versus emotional, but in terms of like emotional abuse, this is the worst shit I've see, shit I've ever seen in my entire life. It's actually. And so I got really mad reading it and I and I stewed about it. Not because like I just hate Xena and Poppy, just like the fact that there are human beings out there, okay? Yeah, five guys, all right? We opened up a restaurant chain in this guy's kitchen. He still hasn't been able to kick us out. Anyways. Yeah, they were academically rigorous abuse techniques, all right? Because uh, Poppy has some, you know, collegiate training on what kinds of abuse there are and, you know, how they manifest. She knows what she's doing. And uh, what we're going to get in today, Poppy and Xena are abusive parents. I have no words for what this document contains genuinely it is one of the craziest things like i want to say that this this is significantly worse significant in orders of magnitude worse than what we read last time and what we read last time was like subhuman behavior this right here is going to make you see red this is going to make you homicidal i highly suggest that if you have any calming aids some anti-anxiety med medication you know pop a zanny right now all right smoke some weed get yourself a beer i don't know chill the fuck out because this shit is actually so unbelievable it's it's I, 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 again, I just don't have words for it. But this isn't the one that I was referencing when I said, I want to start with like the craziest shit. The craziest shit. <laughs> you know what? We're going to start with the craziest shit because there's, I, I don't think I, I have a doc on that. Unless, wait, hold on. Let's see. The table of contents. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's not the one. Let's see. Let's see if one of these documents have anything on parasocial media presence, young women on Twitter. God, dude. Holy shit. Look at these. Oh, my God. Look at the table of contents on this shit 192 pages dude and i still don't i okay i don't see anything in here about what i'm talking about the like actually most like demonic shit this is about spawn yeah i don't see anything about the uh Courtney Orchard person. So I guess we're just going to go into <sighs> tell Tron to add this when you say they're also abusive parents. Well, oh. my shop. <sighs> no, we're not adding any Paul Joseph Watson to any of this shit, okay? It's not happening. It's not happening. Their ops got more words than War and Peace. Well, the last one, how many pages was it? It was like 300 pages in Google Docs. Granted, most of it was like pictures of screen caps, but still, that's a load of that's a load of shit right there. That's a load. You don't you don't get 600 pages or whatever the fuck it was of your of your screen caps getting getting leaked. Unless you've done some crazy shit, right? But um, okay. Let me let me pull up the the appropriate. Uh, let's see here. It's not that window. It's not that one. That one. That one. That one. No, I didn't just close it out. It's somewhere on here. Oh yeah, it's this. We're going to. I ain't gonna lie. Me too. When I went on her page and seen. Her Stop. From YouTube.com. Can I just like click the link, bro? Please, bro. You gotta be kidding me. All right, 
we'll just go ahead and uh, find the video ourselves. Holy shit. Courtney Orchard. Oh. All right. I don't think, and I apologize for this in advance. I apologize to Courtney Orchard for. I'm not going to have any commentary on this shit. I just want you to keep in mind for a second. Hopefully, I'll have something that I can say. But I just want to say, keep in mind, this person is involved in the Xena and Poppy story. Their account is gone? Whose account is gone? Wait, are you telling me that Xena and Poppy deleted their YouTube? Xena and Poppy. No, 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 no. They're right there. They're right here. They're Xena and Poppy wholesome degenerates. And they, uh... No, they haven't hidden all their VODs or anything. Oh, man. We're gonna have to watch this one today, too. My estranged child's allegations. Let's Okay, so we got that. Um, I think I'm gonna have to. Let me see here. Da -da 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 -da. Let me see if. Oh, Courtney Orchard. Oh, it might be in the Tumblr. Okay, this is what we'll do. As you guys can see, I'm a professional streamer, and I uh make sure that I have no organization before I start stream, just so that I can uh keep you guys in chat. Make sure that I maximize my ad, uh, my ad revenue. Okay, so that's why I'm doing this. You caught me. All right. So really quick, we're going to listen to this story. I'm going to, I I am going to warn you. This is actually one of the most unbelievably f***ed up stories I've ever heard in my entire life, and it doesn't. It, this doesn't have to do um, with Zena and Poppy directly. It's just what Zena and Poppy and this person's interactions were given that they knew all of this. All right. So I just want to make that clear. Xena and Poppy, not named in this video. They are, however, involved with this person or formerly were involved in this, uh, with this person. Okay. So we'll go ahead and... Again, prepare yourself. This is some insane shit. Okay. And I've heard of Lily Orchard before. I don't know what kind of content she does, uh, but yeah. I ain't gonna lie, me too. When I went on her page and seen her pictures, I said, oh, oh jump, jump scare. scare. <laughs> the following video has discussions of Costco, CSA, SA, coercion, rape, and incest. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, before we get into the meat and potatoes of it all, I'd like to take a minute to thank my sponsor. Courtney, you have a sponsor? No, not really, but Hella made my puppet, and given my phone and subsequently my camera's broken, this video would not be possible without her. Her socials will be in the description so you can hit her up for your own puppet. You know, some people have nice, normal families, happy, normal childhoods, fond memories of tussling with a sibling. Not me. I just have disappointments and the perfect setup for developing borderline personality disorder. What do you think of trigger warnings like this? Usually, I'm like 50-50 on trigger warnings. I don't care. Honestly, like, I, I don't care about trigger warnings like 99% of the time. I, I, like, who cares? They're at the very beginning of a video. The last, like, 10 seconds. I, I couldn't give less of a now, sometimes it's a little funny because someone will put like trigger warning, like spaghetti noodles, like unironically, and they'll have like 45 content warnings because they're trying, like someone got mad at them in the, in the comments of one of their previous videos. Like, oh my God, I, I had so much trauma as a result of uh, eating Italian food at Olive Garden. And there was a grasshopper in my, in my spinach. And, and I, and I, every time I see spaghetti now, I just go into a full mental break from reality. And your video did that to me. So they added like a million 
content warning. And that's a little stupid, obviously, right? Um, but like, I don't care. And it, I, I, again, I, I cannot emphasize this enough. This is one of the most up. Couldn't find it in a, in a like movie levels of deranged, demonic, crazy shit. Okay, so specifically on this video, well warranted. Well warranted. This shit's crazy, dog. My name's Courtney. You may know me as Courtney Orchard. You may know me as Courtney Pete. You may know me as Please Tie My Shoe. Call me what you want, just don't call me late for dinner. I'm the youngest sibling of Lily Orchard and her first victim. I'm the youngest of three children. My mother's firstborn, Cameron, is her golden child. My father's firstborn, Lily, is his golden child. And then there's me. Now, when I say the term golden child, that doesn't mean the child has good parents. It just means they're the favored child. The one that can do no wrong and the one for which every excuse is made. The phrase itself doesn't indicate good parents or even good treatment. It indicates favor. And the favor of an abusive parent is still favor. Cameron is not my father's son. He was maybe two or three when my mother and father married, and my father only raised him until his own child came along two to three years later. Cameron was also a violent child, aggressive and had the size to back it up. He flew off the handle at the slightest provocation and would attack my father, usually trying to hit the man intentionally in the balls. My mother made every excuse for this behavior, just as she made every excuse for Cameron being violent towards us younger kids. He's her golden boy and can do no wrong in her eyes. Cameron also used to sexually abuse me. I have every reason to believe it started when I was in diapers, as I was always told growing up that I had frequent UTIs and yeast infections as a baby, more than my siblings ever did. But by the time I was two or three, Cameron had started playing house with me. He would make me be the mom and him the dad, and he would say we had to make babies and would rape me. I was a toddler. I didn't know any better and had been groomed by him for- You do have to appreciate the, the, how candid she is with, with this. There are no, there is nothing left up to the imagination. There is nothing left up for speculation. Uh, the entire video is like this. It is very direct and very, uh, unfortunately, detailed. For God knows how long, so I didn't resist. I still have the memories of him on top of me. He also used to make me give him blowjobs in his bottom bunk of the bunk beds he and Lily shared. He would hang blankets over the open ends of the bunk to make a fort and then convince me to give him oral. I still remember telling him, okay, but wipe it off first. I'm not putting it in my mouth with pee on it. Because, you know, three-year-olds don't know what pre-cum is. It was around this time he was also caught with another little girl, a six-year-old, with her pants down. He was ten. By the time I was six, and three to four years into being raped by my eldest half-sibling, my father decided he had enough of Cameron attacking him and made our mother call CPS to have him removed from the house. This thankfully stopped my abuse, not that anyone was aware. I've been asked why I didn't say something to my parents at the time, but here's the thing. I did. Three-year-olds just don't know the, the word rape. I told my mom on more than one occasion that I didn't like playing house with Cameron. What I was saying was that I didn't like it when he stuck his inside me, but that's not what my mother heard. And her response was to tell me that I should feel lucky because not every big brother plays house with their little sister, that he's my brother and I love him and of course I like playing with him. So, with my own mother telling me I should like playing house, and with playing house being rape, my mother told me at the time that I should like my rape and feel lucky for it. This doesn't really encourage one to keep speaking up regardless of them not understanding. I was too young to know they didn't understand. Shortly after Cameron was removed from the house, he was 12. That's that's the reason why, like, when people freak the f*** out about, um, you know, like, the idea of kids receiving um, sex ed in elementary school, right? Like a counselor comes in and gives them uh, what in the broadest terms is called sex ed, right? Uh, it's telling people not to touch you in the no-no square. That is, that is sex ed, all right? That's how you teach kids how to identify when someone is doing something bad to them. You don't have to be like graphic and explain the whole process of making babies. But if someone's going to tell a kid that, hey, we're just playing house. Right? We're just playing house. You're the mommy. I'm the daddy. Right? They don't have the vocabulary. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Vocab is important for uh, potential child abuse. If they don't have the language to describe what is happening to them, right? They know they don't like it. 
They know that it hurts. They know they don't want to do it again. But if all that they can tell their parent is, I don't like playing house, or I don't like it when, uh, when Uncle Richard wants to wrestle with me, right? Like, the parents might hear the exact words that the kid is saying, but just because they're hearing those words does not mean that they're getting the underlying meaning of it, right? So that's why, like, when, when a school counselor wants to do, like, very basic sex ed with, like, kindergartners, it's shit like this. Yeah, Uncle Touchy's coming over, and he wants to wrestle with me, Mom and Dad, and I don't want to wrestle. Jimmy, don't you know that Uncle Touchy loves you very much, and he's just trying to have fun with you? If you don't want to wrestle, tell him you don't want to wrestle. But you still have to spend time with Uncle Touchy, right? Like, if they don't know what to tell their parents to make Uncle Touchy stop raping them, Uncle Touchy is going to keep on raping them. Which is why we should teach kids how not to get raped. I was six and Lily seven. Lily started coercing me into games in private. She usually would ask me to sleep over in her room and with us being close at the time, I would be happy to. It was during these sleepovers she would try to and succeed into talking me into things. Things like letting her practice kissing on me, asking me to come feel this and would grab my hand and stick it in a puddle of what I now know to be cum on her stomach. She would wait until I was asleep, or at least Jesus. thought I was, stand over top of me and masturbate, ejaculating on my blankets and crawling back into her bed to sleep. This went on for about four years until I was old enough to realize what she was doing to me wasn't okay, and so I stopped playing along with her games and letting her practice. I didn't understand coercion when I was 10 and thought I was complicit in the game she made me play, so I didn't say anything to her parents. I didn't know how. I just started saying no and stopped sleeping over in her room. This was when she started sneaking into my room while I was asleep. She also started asking me around this time what I thought about incest. If I thought it was a good thing or a bad thing and why. Like any normal Bro. If, you're, if your sibling comes up to you and asks you what your opinion on incest is, run. <laughs> you immediately run. There is no discussion to be had. Yeah, youngest DGG fan. <laughs> you, you don't... You don't talk to them about it you don't discuss it you don't answer you just run in one straight line until they can no longer reach you all right until they are out of sight you run if any family member ever asks what your opinion on incest is you just you start running like the t1000 all right just in a straight line until you pass out from exhaustion. Human being, I responded with disgust that I thought it was gross and I didn't understand why she was asking me this. Lily would get visibly disappointed at my disgust and tell me that she was asking because she thought incest between siblings was the purest form of love there was. This was also when my underwear started going missing off my body at night. I go to bed wearing underwear and would wake up to having pissed the bed and my underwear not on my body or in my room. I'd later find them in Lily's room when my mother sent me to collect laundry in her bed or under it. Speaking of pissing the bed, this is something that I did from diapers until I was about 14 or 15 years old. Also had frequent UTIs and yeast infections as a child until about 13, 14. Bookmark that age in your mind for now. We'll get back to the 11, 12 year old Courtney. I caught her sneaking into my room a few times, three to be exact. Each time it was when our parents were either still in bed or had left for work already. I'd wake up to my door slowly creaking open and her face pressing through the crack, looking right at me to see if I was asleep. The first time, we made eye contact. She said, Oh, you're awake. Sorry. And then backed away from my door, pulling it closed. My bed was right next to my door then. Can you imagine finding out that your, your older brother, older sister, like, imagine, like, just for a second, even just, like, wipe all everything else that's been talked about so far out of your mind just imagine you go to sleep and then you wake up and you no longer have underwear okay that's that's terrifying that is a that's a horrifying that's a horrifying uh possibility all right the the the, the fact that that's happened to a person in any point in human history is scary as <laughs> this lily orchard person is has a stealth stat of 5,000. You know how in like 
Skyrim, you can, or no, not Skyrim doesn't have gr grenades. Uh, Fallout, you can sneak up to someone and put a grenade in their pocket, and then uh, after you leave the inventory screen, they'll blow up. Like, this is that level of sneakiness. This is some deranged, crazy shit. Highly premeditated, okay? Highly premeditated. Jesus Christ. The second time, my bed was across the room from the door. She had gotten the door fully open and had stepped into my room, again, staring at me to see if I was awake. I yelled at her to get out of my room. The third time was the same as the second time, only I launched myself out of bed after her, demanding to know why she, what she was doing in my room and why she kept sneaking in while I was asleep. She clammed up, refused to respond, barricaded herself in her own room and stayed there until I went back to my own. Around the age of 13 is when Lily first got obsessed with Family Guy, and when she first started comparing me to Meg Griffin. Not in a physical way, not at first anyway, but she would constantly tell me how I am just like Meg, how Meg reminds her so much of me. She would also tell me how into Meg sexually she was, started her little fanfic shipping herself with Meg and having her- Autistic incestual riz. Like, <laughs> this is like autism, autism maxing, incest maxing. I, 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 again, like I said earlier, I don't, I don't have too much commentary for this video. <laughs> It speaks for itself. I, I don't want to add anything funny in here because of obvious reasons. But holy shit. Imagine trying to riz up your younger sister with family guy by comparing her to the character that everyone hates. She shoved the shitty fan art she made in my face about the kid she had herself have with Meg. All while still telling me how much like Meg I am. How much Meg is like me. And the worst part? I am like Meg. In terms of the family dynamic, her place in it, and the neglect she faces, Meg is a perfect example of my life growing up. Sure, I wasn't physically abused like Meg is, but I was as disposable to my family as Meg is to hers. So seeing that relation myself, while my sister is telling me how much she wants to sleep with the same character, really ruined any connection I could have had to that character. So this brings us up to 14. Remember how I told you to bookmark that age? Well, when I was 14, I got my first job had my own money, and really started to provide for myself. I had to. It's not like my parents were going to. This is also when I started to advocate for myself. I approached my father the day after I caught Lily sneaking into my room for the third time and confronted her. I told him I was afraid Lily had already been or was going to do something to me in my sleep, that I was afraid of her and what she was going to do to me. My father told me to write down all the reasons I felt that way. Lily had a psychiatrist appointment the next day, and he would take the list to her doctor and speak with him. So I did. I wrote down everything, from the Meg stuff to my underwear going missing and her asking me about incest. I didn't list the games because I still felt at fault for not saying no. I gave the list to my father and waited for the next day. When they got back from the appointment, I asked my father what the doctor said. I was told by him that he was told by Lily's own doctor that I was not safe around Lily and to not leave me alone with her under any circumstances. I don't know if anything else was said or suggested because my father brushed me off after- Okay, really quick. Um, I'll rewind about 10 seconds. All right, so in order to get the, the full context with all the logs, I can just, you know, after we're done with the story, after we're done with the video and all of the backstory, all right, um, after, after we're done with that, I could just tell you guys about the connection to Poppy and Xena. There is, okay? Um, if anyone in chat has a Tumblr account, Please speak up. I am not about to sit here and make a Tumblr account so I can scroll down in the repository of all things Poppy and Xena because it's on Tumblr. See, it stops me, okay? Please speak up. If you have a Tumblr account, shoot me a DM. Is it, shoot me a DM on, on Discord. I will give you this link. And you can find the actual, you know, screen caps for me and send them to me. That would be very helpful. There is no way. Otherwise, we're watching another video, okay? I used to. I got nuked in the porn ban. Hey, listen. Gooner's down bad. Gooner's down bad. <laughs> Told by Lily's own doctor that I was not safe around Lily and to not leave me alone with her under any circumstances. I don't know if anything else was said or suggested because my father brushed me off after telling me this and wouldn't speak about it further. 
Making the mistake of believing my parents had my safety as a priority, I relaxed enough about the issue to go to work that night. I worked 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. every weekend. I got home the next morning after work and went to bed. My mother had to work, but it was a Saturday, so my father was home and I thought I was safe. I woke up alone in the house with Lily. Dad had gone to get groceries while I was asleep and just left me there with her. I called one of my best friends in a panic, bawling my eyes out, told her everything. She lived right up the road, so she came right over and sat with me in my room and I told her everything in more detail, including the fact that my dad was told not to leave me alone with her. My friend sat herself about finding out just how deep this shit with Lily went and asked her to sit in the kitchen so she could play matchmaker. This friend went about asking Lily what kind of girl she would be interested in, what kind of hair, what color eyes, what body type, etc. After every question, Lily would look over at me. I was doing dishes in the kitchen to listen in on her answers and answer every question with kind of like Courtney's. It was the body type question that sent me over the edge. I was cleaning the meat cleaver, so I took it to Lily's throat. I'd already grabbed her by her hair, and I told her I would gut her like the pig that she is if she so much as looked at me wrong. I asked my father for a door lock when he got home. He said no. Walked to Walmart and got myself one. I proceeded to argue with and call my father's bluff when he tried to stop me from putting it on my door. I told him if he wasn't going to protect me, that I would protect myself, and if I had to leave to do it, I would. I stopped wetting the bed that year. My underwear stayed on my body all night, every night from the first night I had the lock. Okay, I'm going to take a page out of Swoop's playbook and put in a little kitty palette cleanser. Enjoy some pictures of Batman and, and chill music for a minute. Look at him. He's so fat. I got some cat pictures. All right. Oh Who's ready to expose themselves for the benefit of the stream and publicly out that they have a Tumblr account? That's why I said that they can DM me on Discord, okay? I wasn't about to publicly shame anybody for having a Tumblr account. All right? He's got a wish list on Amazon. I'll have it in the description below. So, that's the gist of my sexual abuse at the hands of both my siblings. All 12 to f So, age zero. So, in summary... Age zero to three, frequent UTIs and yeast infections. This is when I suspect Cameron started molesting me. Cameron made a, uh, a game out of raping me, uh, made me play house with him, and would uh, make me be the mom so we would have to make babies. That was age three to six. Uh, age seven to ten, underwear stops uh, or starts disappearing off of her in the middle of the night. Um, Lily Orchard jerks off over, over her, you know, makes her touch the... Uh, you know, makes her touch the, the cum on the blanket, all that stuff. And then 11 to 14. Therapist tells the parents, hey, uh, this is raping your other daughter. You should probably uh, keep them separate at all times. And the parents didn't. So she had to buy herself her own door lock. So. There we are. <laughs> That's the. That's the timeline here. All right, we'll we'll finish this one out, and then I'll uh, see if we have some. Nope, I can't get the log, so we're gonna have to watch uh, Malcolm's video on it. Malcolm's video is only like five minutes long, though. So, fourteen years of it, most of it at Lily's hands, taking advantage of the grooming I faced at Cameron's. I wish I could say that's all I had to deal with in my household growing up, but if I'm being honest, it's only the half of it. The neglect, parentification, victim blaming, and emotional abuse I suffered at the hands of my parents, as well as growing up in a household filled with screaming, fighting, threats of violence, acts of violence, etc., comprised the rest of my childhood. Until I decided that sleeping in a bus shelter in the rain was a better option than going back to those people. And don't think I've forgotten about you, Ethel. I should thank you, after all. That greedy stunt you pulled with Vangelina is really what pushed me to stop relying on someone else to get the truth out about my sister, and to start my own series. I look forward to what you have to say when I use all the same screenshots that Vangelina used. You know, the ones you don't own. But I'm getting ahead of myself. That's for the next video. Alright, that was rough. More so for all of you than me, really. I'm used to repeating this stuff. Some of you are hearing it all clearly for the first time. Big thank you to the people who helped me make this video. Your suggestions were greatly appreciated. And of course, another big thank you to Hello. Without her, I wouldn't be here looking this amazing. Take care of yourself. All righty. So that's the backstory for what this next little drop right here. Now, who's ready? To, uh, are these two different abusers or one? Uh, this is so. In in summary, that was the backstory of a person 
who um, was abused by their uh, by their sibling. Their sibling being uh, Lily Orchard, who I had to look up. I did not realize that this person has 142,000 subscribers. Five years ago, I made a please stop. Um, so Lily and Michaela, I guess, and um, so this person has a big YouTube account. They raped their sister for uh, quite a long time, and that video was the sister who was raped. Um, now we're going to move forward in the timeline to sometime, I believe, in the last two years. Um, my understanding is Poppy and Xena had some sort of beef with Lily Orchard. Because they had a beef with Lily Orchard. Lily Orchard's sister saw them beefing with her and was like, you know what? Uh, people should know Lily is a rapist, an incestual rapist who tried to use their autistic riz to, to through, the, through the lens of family guy, no less, to riz up their younger sister after raping her for several years. Okay? <laughs> this avatar is so cringe. What basement dweller is this? Listen. Don't don't ask me. I don't I don't think I've ever seen a Lily Orchard video. What the f kind of content they even make? Is it just like commentary on video games and TV? Mary Sue's are fun, actually. It would be a incestual rapist that would say some shit like that, wouldn't it? Anyways, so yeah, we got this person involved. All right. So anyway, the Courtney Orchard person. Goes to Xena and Poppy to expose their incestual rapist sister um, for being an incestual rapist. Um, and I guess this is this is the uh, the outcome of that. You're Wait, lying. Right. Is there are there logs in the Transcript? No. Damn. Somebody get the electric chair right now. What? She had an interview with her about how her <laughs> You're kidding. This isn't real. No, you're f***ing with me. You're f***ing with me. Okay, this is the one that everybody was telling me to read. Courtney Orchard. And so I was confused because I thought that this was Lily Orchard. I was- One second. This kind of feels super real. Like, it seems like she's very jaded to her trauma. It feels like most people get manipulated into thinking they have trauma. So it's very, uh, wait, hold on. It feels like most people get manipulated into thinking they have trauma. So it's very fresh in their brain. Yeah. I, 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 what I think that people don't realize is like, there's a difference between trauma and like a bad thing that happened to you. Right? How's it going, Dank Brandon? Uh, there's a difference between trauma and something bad that happened to you. Trauma is going to be some event, and it's usually something bad that happened to you, right? Or something bad that you saw, or something along those lines, um, that left an actual, like, psychological mark on you, right? Um, that's the... Uh, that's the difference between trauma and something bad that happened to you, which is just like something bad happens to everyone, but not everyone has trauma. Not everyone needs to, you know, go to a therapist who like puts them into hypnosis so that they can open their third eye and re you know, relive their trauma from their past and dig up repressed memories and shit like most people don't have that kind of trauma. But that Courtney Orchard person, like the the way that she talks seems to uh seems to lead credence to it. It's very blunt, matter of fact, not all this like weasel wordy leaving anything up for um you know, anything up for interpretation. Uh I I, I cut it off at the very end there, but at the end of the video. She does say, like, it, you know, I'm sorry if the way I talked about this is upsetting to some of you guys, but, like, this was my life, and I'm, 
you know, I'm used to telling this story. I've told this story many times uh, to people that I know, to therapists, et cetera, et cetera. Like, so she's told the story a bunch of times. She's probably worked through some of this. I'm not sure. I've never heard about that person until like three days ago. So uh, good luck to them. But uh, here, right here, is the connection to Xena and Poppy. It was like, isn't Lily Orchard like Bad News Bears? Don't we like not like Lily Orchard? Lily essayed Courtney. Why do they have the same last name? Were they married? Oh, they're siblings. <laughs> Ew. Incest. Ew. No. Okay. <laughs> Before we go any further, this was something that people recommended that I look into following the release of the Google Docs on Poppy. And the whole point was, one, that this is somebody that Poppy just met. This isn't somebody that she had like an existing relationship with. It kind of serves as evidence of how she treats people that she doesn't even really know very well. And I also want to point out, because I don't really cover it in this, unfortunately, this is just my raw reaction. This is somebody that asked Poppy for help for access to her platform. Keep that in mind when we move forward and we see how Poppy treats this person. One, that she just met. Two, was a victim. And three, came to Poppy for help. Poppy was like, of course, I'll help you. Just keep that in mind. Anonymous says, not sure if you saw a follow-up in the replies, but she claims that CO and SH are also into incest. Who is C CO? Courtney Orchard and SH. Who's SH? Are also into incest. Not sure who SH is. Well, <laughs> I should just read and stop asking questions. Allow me to try that again. Not sure if you saw her follow up in the replies, but she claims that CO and SH are also on it. Not sure who SH is, but I'm assuming CO is Courtney. Not a good look at all. Shit posting blog that hates them says, uh, Poppy is, is really low for dragging a CSA, sir. CSA is a survivor that she sexually exploited into it. I wouldn't be surprised if Poppy pulled Courtney into that or planned to, but due to how utterly shocking and disgusted Courtney was upon finding out, I find Poppy's claim is a load of shit. I'm not predatory. This victim is also into incest. Also, um, Poppy has been trying to put out her side of the story uh, on, you know, whether it's about the uh, stuff with Noe Flake, whether it's the stuff about uh, her daughter or I'm sorry, I'm assuming daughter. I don't know why I'm assuming daughter. The the child that we're going to get to after this. Right. Um, like Poppy is is in damage control mode, but her version of damage control is just to viciously attack all of the people not just making allegations against her <laughs> it is to viciously attack them even though they're the ones that have the logs even though they're the ones that have all this evidence posted out there that show all of the behaviors that that poppy did to them that they're alleging that she did to them they have proof and all poppy has to say is like uh, these people are mentally ill. They raped me and they should have come to me in private about this. Like, they're... And then they'll, like, go off for, like, ten minutes just ad homming the f*** out of them. They... It, it is actually... I, and I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this because we've seen some really botched responses to allegations before right like if you guys are twitch politics viewers all right uh 2020 there were some uh allegations against a guy named prime kai for uh abusing his position of power and um essentially you know uh being a sexually weird person towards an employee uh that employee went on to date another streamer who did a whole call out stream and then destiny called in high on meth uh like atticus finch and methed up atticus finch was the lawyer for prime kai the only reason prime kai is still able to stream is because destiny went in there and defended him this went out he didn't, he didn't do anything. Like, the worst thing that you could accuse him of being is cringe. But he didn't do anything bad. But when he goes on stream, he botched responding to the allegations by just saying, like, yeah, I apologize for everything. Uh, it, like, I obviously, you know, like, overstepped some boundaries. Like, 
No, you were cringe, right? That's a botched response to some drama, right? That's some botched response to some drama. And even that was not nearly on the level of Zeta and Poppy, like, attacking not only someone that they raped and calling them a rapist, but also attacking their own child that had to run away from their, their house because they had, like, total financial and, you know, physical control of them at all times, right? And then they threaten their own child with a lawsuit if they don't retract all of their statements with evidence that the child put out against them. And now with this person, this person's the, you know, the victim of multiple years long sustained child sexual assault who came to Poppy for help and then Poppy does all of this and then Poppy attacks her too. Like you, how do you botch it that bad at a certain point? Just like, shut the f up. Don't say anything else. <laughs> Don't say anything else. If you're going to stream through the pain, stream through the pain and talk about something else and just ignore all of the allegations because you have no evidence on your side to, to explain yourself. Just, just stream through the pain. And, you know, like, if we go to the, uh, I still have the tab open from their social blade. Like, if we go to their social blade, it's not getting any better for them. If they're losing subscribers at the rate that they have been, by the end of the year, they'll have lost 7.8K subscribers. They only, at their peak, wait, where's their uh, total subscribers? Their peak was... 10.7k at the rate that they're going in the way that they're responding they're going to lose everything because they don't have a job anymore they don't have prospects for a job anymore this is their only form of income because their child ran off with you know the the trust fund that their dead mom set up for them that Zena and Poppy were dipping into to subsidize their degenerate streamer lifestyle like at a certain point just shut the f up and don't respond but anyway sorry i'm going off on a long tangent i f hate these people so f much holy shit it's like actually just so f disgusting everything about them is so f disgusting they lost their job so that they can keep streaming and now they're lighting their stream on fire yeah which has implications that Courtney somehow enjoyed Lily's abuse and won't admit to it. You're joking. How old is this? When did this drop? Have people known about this for a while? And people were just like, no, she's just silly goofy. Like this is like a, no, you're kidding. No, Wait, that's disgusting. So Poppy is really low for dragging the CSA incest survivor. She sexually exploited into it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Poppy pulled Courtney into that or planned to, but due to how utterly shocked and disgusted Courtney was upon finding out, I find Poppy's claim as a load of shit. I'm not predatory. This incest, incest victim is also into incest, which has an implication that Courtney somehow enjoyed Lily's abuse and just won't admit to it. Disgusting. No. Okay, <clears throat> let's just go for it. Let's just go. Uh, so Poppy says, remember me having an incest kink is a problem. Wait, hold on. Uh, I think the way that uh, I think the way you botch things shows your character somewhat. Prime Kai's, at least uh, from what you characterized it as, was willing to admit wrongdoings. Popping is showing that they do not care what they did. I mean, sure. Like I, like full disclosure. At this point, at this point, I am uh, not a fan of Prime Kai. Me and him were were chill back then, you know. Uh, and you know. Do I think that he's like a bad person? No, I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he's a stupid person who is still desperate to like make his failed streaming career work. Like that's 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 all Prime Kai's is, right? Um, but he's not a bad person, right? And he was probably just like, okay, well, what do you do when someone like tries to allege that you like 
sexually exploited them. Well, you have to apologize first and foremost, uh, because if you just deny it, then everyone's going to say, like, believe the woman, and then, uh, and then you're kind of So, like, I understand why he did what he did. I don't think that he's a bad person, but I, you know what? I do think he's a really stupid person. And if he was smart, he probably would have, he probably would have tried to, like, at least defend himself a little bit, okay? Prime did the progressive botch where he apologized for not knowing he made a girl uncomfortable. Yeah, when she never really said that she was uncomfortable, but. but Here, let's go back. Okay, <clears throat> let's just go for it. Let's just go. Uh, so Poppy says, remember me having an incest kink is a problem, but. <laughs> yes, you having an incest kink is a problem. Yes. I love yes, Malcolm. Malcolm's further? such a cool dude. Remember me having an kick is a problem but working with co and sh who both have one is fine because they help because they help the quote poppy hate train this is blatant hypocrisy whoa is holy shit them. dude wait hold on hold on remember me having an incest kink is a problem but working with courtney orchard and whoever that is who both have one is fine because they help the poppy hate train the blatant hypocrisy is outstanding bro <laughs> did hey uh show of hands in chat type one in chat if you got the impression from courtney orchard's video where she detailed the brutal sustained rapes from her from her brother and sister growing up from the time she was in diapers until she was 13 or 14 years old show of hands ones in chat do you think that that person has an incest kink based off of the way that they detail that story. No ones? I didn't think so. <laughs> I've, my brain is blowing out the back of my head right now. I, I could have swore. What a What does she think that she's going to she's going to get away with it by saying that standing to them and then there's like an image so please tell me she says lol excuse me bitch what oh oh oh! i know what time it is back after my first stream with poppy she started coming on it oh by the way the please tie my shoe at the beginning of courtney orchard's video she said that um one of her online handles is please tie my shoe i believe is please tie my shoe courtney courtney praying for courtney adding courtney to my list of nightly prayer recipients holy Okay, so I know what this is. Back after my first room with Poppy when she started coming out of the stream, she sent me furry porn. Incest furry porn. Sibling incest furry porn. Then defended why and how she was into incest. No. You're lying. It's Somebody so fucking... get the electric it... chair right now. What? It is, it is unbelievable. She streams with Poppy. Poppy knows the context of this person's backstory. The victim is not into incest. This is the in, this is, I was about to say, this is the incest speaking. This is the victim speaking, okay? Wait, were we not supposed to send people we just met incest furry porn? It, well, and I want to make this clear for people. I know that the sexual liberation stuff is really, really big. I know that everybody is all about not kink shaming um but there are some things you should keep close to your chest the 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 tagline don't kink shame people has been a catastrophic phrase for humankind Kink shame people now. Yes, Tequila Sunrise. Now, I, like, I, I was talking about this with my friend last night because uh, I was explaining the whole Poppy and Xena thing. Um, and, you know, like, I can't fully qualify or quantify all of these things, but I think that there's like a low end and there's a high end of, like, how weird a sexual kink or... Um, just attraction is right like a one i could i could definitely say that like one 
very lowest, not weird at all thing to be into. Ass tits, right? Not weird at all to be into, right? I don't even know, like, given, like, especially after looking at some of the shit that Zena and Poppy have put on their stream, I, I cannot possibly even begin to detail things that would be in the 10 area on the scale of 1 to 10 of how weird the kink is. But I think once you get past maybe, like, high end, a 4 out of 10 on the weirdness scale, I'm going to say, like, let's say feet fetish is, like, the perfect middle. Like, it's, it's not normal, but it's not demonic and deranged sexual kinks, right? It's just, like, the perfect level of weirdness where you're like, okay... You have a foot fetish. You're really weird. But like, I don't think that you're going to do anything disgusting to me or my family or my friends, right? Like, I don't feel like I'm in danger around you. Whereas like, maybe like, you know, shit would be on a, a like 10. Like, absolutely the weirdest, most disgusting shit possible. You should keep that shit to yourself. You should never enact that shit, you know, like murdering someone and then like slitting their throat and the throat, you know, that's like on the 10. You should never tell anyone that you're into that. <laughs> you should never tell anyone that you're into that. You should keep that close to your chest. And anyone that shames those kinks is totally based and red pilled and giga chad. All right. The incest stuff, I don't want to like even pretend to know where I would put that on a scale of 1 to 10. What about race play? I'm not going to go into every single kink, all right, Sieg? You know what? The fact that you're asking me makes me feel like you're hoping that I'm going to say 2, 3, or 4 so that you can tell everyone that you're into race play. Is that what this is, Sieg? Is this you testing the waters? I'm not going to quantify all of these things. I don't, know what to, I don't even want to begin thinking about how to start categorizing them into all these different you know, levels. But if it's, if it's above a four, you should probably never tell anyone about your kink. And if someone is being so open about their kink that's like at a seven or an eight of the weird sexual kink you know, scale, you should absolutely 100% of the time no holds barred shame the f out of them because we don't need more poppy and xenas in society who feel comfortable sending furry incest sibling like sibling incest porn to the victim of childhood sexual assault from their siblings the sexual liberation shit has gone too far it's time to reel it back in and start shaming the out of people there's nothing hotter than race play while wearing my maga hat you know what see i'll have to buy a maga hat and try that out then all right she had an interview with her about how her sister insidiously raped her and then she gave her she was like here's some for report i think it's hot you're kidding she shouldn't have just been she should have lost her license <gasps> no oh my god oh my god okay we have to keep reading but like like, and also, the fact that that Poppy did this while she was a licensed therapist is wild. I feel like I don't want to because, like, I know it gets worse from here, but where else are we going to go? I don't want to go anywhere else. Like, right here is bad enough. <laughs> I don't want to keep going down. Okay, so we have been given the questionable. Okay, Gas, you need to, you need to, you're doing the thing right now, all right? You're doing the thing right now where, like, there are things that you should keep close to your chest. And you're telling everybody. You're telling everybody. You're, I, I'm, I'm very glad that the kick chat is broken for the stream, uh, the, the, uh, the, the overlay, because not everyone needs to know. Not everyone needs to know, okay? Full material. And I, quote, played along with most of it, hoping for the interaction to be over and for it never to be brought up again. I mean, honestly, what do you even 
say to that like i gotta be completely honest with you i think i would be completely stun locked as well if i just like spent time with somebody and i was telling them that i was like incestuously assaulted or whatever and then they were like anyway so i think this is really hot i also think i would just be like like what do you even say to that uh so i don't mean to you send a, you you go into google all right someone someone does that to you go into google you type in the word noose you go to images, you find your favorite picture of a noose, and you send it to them, and then you block them. Okay? Someone, someone knows that you've been raped by your brother or sister, and then they send you incest porn, you send them a noose, and then you block them. The butcher knife should have gone deeper. The kink shame, but these are my honest feelings. No, we should kink shame. We should kink shame incest. Yes, we should. <sighs> For people who think incest is okay, cool, or fun, to me, you're broken. You're the very definition of. This is just true. This is just true, okay? This is. she. She's saying it better than I ever could. To me, you're broken. You're the very definition of somebody that doesn't need to be in the gene pool. The only purpose of blood relation is to tell you who not to fk and who to fk, and somehow you got that one fundamental thing that separates us from animals wrong. Face, Jesus. let's go, Courtney. You need extensive therapy and to be as far away from any semblance of family as possible for the rest of your unnatural life. I'm not into incest, Poppy. I never was. I just needed your platform. Everything I ever said about agreeing with you, like the same things, liking uh, or caring about you, were a bold faced lie. You disgust me, Poppy. Jesus, I mean, Christ. you didn't at first, and you were uh, you didn't at first. At first, you were just a bottom rung of a very, very tall ladder that is getting my sister dealt with. At first you were just annoying, but now, Jesus Christ, now you've attempted to violate my consent in a way that you have left, just like Lily did to Lizzie. What's next, Poppy? You gonna put commission part of me? I mean, that's on the next page of Lily's playbook if you're right, on track. You seriously need help, sterilization, and a prison sentence. Pathetic. Oh yeah, also, just uh, some uh, some fun trivia that I learned, okay? Some, some fun trivia that I learned about the Lily Orchard person. Um, not only did they rape their sister, they also commissioned an artist to draw draw her raping her sister when they were kids for her goon folder. So we're talking like similar levels, if not worse levels of derangement. To Poppy here. Also, something else that we're going to get into later. Uh, I guess Poppy like admits to uh, to also raping someone when she was a child, like raping a younger person when she was also a child. So that's I be I believe it was their cousin. So we'll we'll get to that eventually. But it only gets worse. It only gets worse. I think they wrote fanfic that resembled molestation or something like that. Well, um, what's next, Poppy? You gonna commission rape art of mine or of me? I mean, that's the next page out of Lily's playbook, and you are right on track. I mean, like it's. I'm pretty sure that's the. <laughs> I mean, I I don't know. Listen, it could be both. I feel like I've heard Lily Orchard's name before. But really, I've only heard it said more than like in passing in the past three days. Never watched their videos. No idea really who they are ex outside of this context, which is, I think, all the context that I need. I mean, that, that's pretty accurate to my feelings. I think that that I think that that ties in pretty closely with what um, what I'm feeling as well. That's. I swear to God, that's the worst thing I've ever read in my entire life. That's the worst thing I've read in my entire life. The furry thing, that's horrific. I've never, I've never heard anything like that before. Something else that I want to add, just as we're wrapping this up, is I was genuinely shocked and surprised that this wasn't something that nuked Poppy and Xena's channel quite a long time ago, meaning like when this came out. Only because Poppy built her entire platform off of this Lily Orchard drama, Believing Lily Orchard's really? sister, trying to get Lily Orchard taken down, blah, blah, blah. All of her audience has been cultivated about supporting Courtney, 
believing Courtney, trying to get Courtney help with dealing with Lily, and then it leaks that this happens. I think that's kind of the weirdest part about the whole thing, is that this is this is the context or the content that she built her entire channel off of, but blind leading the blind, I suppose. Jesus. All right. So that is the that is the Lily Orchard, Courtney Orchard connection to Xena and Poppy. It's crazy. It's despicable. It's disgusting. It's demonic. It's all of these things. I I genuinely have no. I w Malcolm was the one that told me about that, um, and I did not believe him whatsoever. I it it's just so crazy, and without any self awareness to it, like a degree that. I could only assume like it would be an, a mistake that like an AI would make, right? Like AI talking to someone in the little chat box, they give their backstory, right? The AI, you know, algorithm a little, right? And so the AI sends like, ah, I see you're into incest porn, right? And then they link that. Like that's like a mistake that an AI would make. Literally, no conscious thought process type shit and yet here here we are with poppy after making I, i'm actually super curious if we go to their channel lily orchard one two Oh, our adventures with Lily Orchard. How many videos are in the playlist? Why would you take me to the main page when I want to see the playlist? Ten videos they have. A year ago. So, they have all these videos. Oh, just to remind you, these are Demon Mama Orbiters? Yeah. I mean, like, here. This is something that I'll say. Um, as much as I hate Demon Mama and Doe and basically everyone in that sphere of the internet, um, I don't think that they're stupid enough to do this sort of thing. I, I would actually be genuinely surprised if... If it came out that something like we know some stuff about their like weird kink shit, right? Like Demon Mama has a dog bed on the floor for Doe to sleep on so that they can do like the puppy shit. I don't know, right? Like not something that I'm into, right? And it's super weird, possibly abusive, but like it's not on the same tier as what we're looking at with Xena and Poppy. I, I really do think that with Xena and Poppy, they are so uniquely coombrained, so uniquely like lacking self awareness, so uniquely manipulative, and all of that shit, and all of those things in combination. Um, I I don't think that there's going to be another YouTuber or streamer like this. I, I don't think there's going to be another, like, YouTuber or streamer like this for a while, right? Like, this is just, like, so uniquely crazy, so uniquely, like, insane. And I, I don't think that Demon Mama, as much as I hate her, I don't think that she's either A, that kind of person. I think she's, like, manipulative in a different way, right? I think that she is very calculated in the way that she interacts with people on online. But um I don't get these vibes from her, right? I also, too, don't think that she's stupid enough, given the size of her platform and the amount of people that hate her. I don't think that she's stupid enough to try and every single person that they get into a conversation with in DMs. 
I just don't think that Demon Mom is that stupid. As much as I hate her and as stupid as I think that she is, she's not that stupid. This is like some advanced technique. It's, yeah, sorry. I, I, I'm, one thing about this whole, you know, series of drama is just how unbelievable it is and how speechless it makes me. It, it's insane. Like every single bit of this drama is from beginning to end of every doc, just like the most roller coaster ride, you know, like inflicting 10 G's onto your body and then going, going smooth for a while and then dropping you back down to 10 G's again. Like, it's like the, it's like the, you guys know the suicide, um, the suicide roller coaster. Yeah. The euthanasia coaster. There we are. It's like, it has such like insane levels of G forces through the loops that it would starve your body of blood to the brain for long enough to kill you. Like, I feel like that's what we're doing. Reading through these, <laughs> reading through all of these documents. It's like actually unhinged. It's deranged. It is demonic. It is not okay. But now we're going to go into the second document. And um, it, depending on what you guys are feeling by the end of today's stream, um, we'll either, like, mind you, barring any more crazy leaks. Well, there goes my earbud. Barring any more crazy leaks, um, if you guys are good with the story as is at the end of this stream. I don't think we need to read it anymore. I don't think I need to know anymore. I think I got a pretty good idea of Poppy and Xena's character after all of this, right? Wait, how far are we allowed apart? I'm reading Dune and they want Paul to fuck his little sister. Oh, thank you for the spoilers. I should actually ban you right now. Because I'm not going to read Dune. I'm going to wait four years for the next movie to come out. Loser. Jesus Christ. Okay, let me grab that earbud that just dropped. Also, it wasn't Doe that had the Shotokan um, hard drive. That was the other one, Fawn. Yes, there is Demon Mama, and then there's Doe, and then there's someone else that has a deer, deer naming convention named Fawn, and that's the one that likes the Shotokan. That's the... More like 15 years? I don't think it's going to be 15 years. All right. Prepare yourself. This shit's going to get wild. I don't know how many pages there are in this. Um, and we don't have to like go through like literally every single thing here. Um, but there's a, lot of, there's a lot of pictures here. It's not as long as the last one, right? Um, so we're, it's not, if we're lucky, this won't take up the entire stream and we can do something, uh, something of a palate cleanser at the end, but yeah, we'll see. All right. Poppy and Xena are abusive parents. Poppy and Xena said that they didn't abuse their kid, that their kid abused them. They're lying. And here's the proof. Oh shit, should we also, um, actually, this depends on, ah, it's an hour long. Okay. Yeah, we're not watching that one right now. But yes, this is the addressing my estranged child's allegations part one. And then they have to label this as discourse. And I don't know why they call it discourse. Is there any explanation for that anywhere on in any of the leaks for anyone that has been following this drama? Does anybody know why it's discourse instead of just saying discourse? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I didn't see this before. Yay. Antenna cactus in chat. How's it 
going. We just got through with talking about the Courtney Orchard shit with P Zena and Poppy. That's uh, that's what you just missed. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't see this first. Um, this first comment, the pinned comment. Did I see the video? Yep, that's what we went over. Hey everyone, we had a weird error on the channel and some comments that were constructive criticism and or support got hidden from the channel. If you don't see your comment, email us at... Oh, they still kept the trans girl the rapist email account. I'm sorry, trans girl therapist account. Uh, please email us at trans girl the rapist. Sorry, I actually wasn't trying to do it that time. I actually wasn't trying to do it at that time. Please email us at transgirltherapist at gmail.com and let us know the gist of the comment and we can make sure that we fix the error. Me. Sorry. Genuine mistake. Genuine mistake. Genuine mistake. This is, there are allegations. There, I am not making any definitive claim for legal purposes. Me. Okay. Uh, Poppy and Xena said they didn't abuse their kid, that their kid abused them. They're, it's like Hamas Piker, I just say it by mistake all the time. Yeah. They're lying, and here's the proof. Preface. We're going to zoom in a little bit because this is like two point font. I want to keep these points in mind, or I want you to keep these points in mind as you read through this document. Well, this is not the abuse of a minor. This is the abuse of a vulnerable person by people who claim parenthood over them. Poppy's uh, child will be referred to as Spawn for their privacy. Um, obviously, they have no problem with uh, naming and shaming their child. Their, their child that they rose from birth through the death of the mother have no problem with naming and shaming and threatening to sue their own child. That'll give you just a quick little, it's, it's like a, a trailer to a movie, all right? And the trailer of the movie is just the title of their video, a hit piece on their own child. Poppy's child will be referred to as Spawn for their privacy. Poppy is not Spawn's biological parent, but has been parenting them since birth and the death of their mother when they were about four years old. At the, at the time, Spawn was significantly physically disabled, without reliable transportation, isolated, searching for a job, and using their trust fund from their deceased mother to pay Poppy and Xena's rent. Did you get to the part where Poppy claims their child's dead mother groomed them? No, I have not read this document. I have only heard tangential information around it. I have the general idea of what happened. I did not know that. It was on video. If you could find me the timestamp, I would, you know what? I would love to see it. Poppy has said in a recent stream that Spawn hasn't been their child in her eyes for 10 years. This document doesn't even delve that far in the past. Spawn is 24. Pay attention to the power dynamic and the evidence provided below. This document is not the fullest extent of what Spawn has gone through. Trigger warning for gaslighting, general emotional abuse, abuse of a dependent, restrictive eating, neglect, ableism. The restrictive eating part of this is actually some of the most buckwild shit I've ever heard in my entire goddamn life. It is actually some of the craziest deranged shit but let's let's go poppy on being a parent check out uh, this is on the uh, not safe for work disc or uh twitter account um concupiscent concupiscent progress what does that mean what does this have to do with oh okay concupiscent progress oh it's just proving that this is their reddit account because it's posted from their not safe for work Twitter account of their is this the uh is this the shark like the date rape shark account I know there's uh commented on I know there's no checklist to prove I'm valid but it still feels really invalidating to not like them uh, my big sister has two kids and I just find them annoying and really stressful 
my big sister has two kids. I find them annoying and stressful. That makes me feel uh, like a guy, but I really don't want to be. Trans woman here. Fuck having kids. Already did that once, and it was way too much work. You are absolutely a girl, and you can be selfish, and it's totally cool. If you marry someone, and they have a child, and you are their parent figure from the time they are born through the death of the biological mother. No, you can't be selfish and have it be totally cool. By the way, I'm going to get like probably a little bit triggered because there are some people that like, I'm not a parent. Okay. I've, uh, I've worked in education a little bit. I've been a substitute teacher. I've been a, uh, I don't even know what the to call the previous job titles. I helped test kids for autism. I helped um, with uh, helping kids prep who have been um, like falling behind in class, right? Like, so I've worked with kids before, um, and sometimes kids will just like drop on you some shit that they've like been abused and stuff, and it makes you see red because they're like four years old, five years old, you know. And then they'll like just like tell you that their dad's in prison and then their, you know, mom's boyfriend uh, is beating them and they want you to be their mom's boyfriend instead because you're nice to them, right? Uh, you don't get to be a parent and be selfish and not care about the kid. If you're selfish and a parent and you do not take care of the kid or you do not like having the kid and you honestly... Find someone else. Give it to the grandparents. Give it to someone that will actually give a fuck. Okay? Anyways. Key for this document. Red sensors are poppy. Purple are spawn. Green are spawn's friends. Okay. We'll try to remember that. This doc contains a mixture of screenshots from group chat, spawn's private discord server with a few of their friends and some photos of paper notes left for spawn. 3-20-23. The housing assignment. So this is Poppy and Xena and Spawn. Please stay on task. Rules at bottom of pages will be enforced. If you get to a section of that, uh, of that house where we need to move stuff, please let us know. Oh, this is Xena speaking. FYI, all the trashes will definitely need to be emptied after chores. Now here's uh, Poppy. Spawn, on the laundry basket outside your room is instructions. Please read them thoroughly. We will be going over this tonight after work. The requirements for restoring your internet are on there. There are only two things, and they are relatively short, but do require reflection. Thanks, Mom. Note, up here. Spawn, the child, was using their trust fund from their deceased mother to pay Poppy and Xena's rent. Spawn was paying the rent on the apartment, paying the bills for the internet, and they're getting restricted from being able to use the internet that they were paying for. The internet was their only way of staying in touch with their friends. They were only, or they were allowed to use the mobile hotspot if their main internet got restricted, but that meant they only got 10 gigabytes per month. To spawn, please read thoroughly. Requirements uh, to get back the internet. If, if I had a roommate, if, if I had a roommate that I was paying the rent for, And they wrote me some shit like this. I wouldn't be streaming today. I would be behind bars. They would have found me sitting in their room. No, I'm not going to make that joke. Never mind. <laughs> sitting in their room with a katana bloody lay on the ground, cradling their head when the police found me. That's where I would be. Okay. This is some unbelievable crazy shit. I, I, I've had to pay my roommate's rents before to help them out, right? If they came to me and told me to do some dishes after I paid their rent, 
<laughs> I would have sling bladed the entire family. Chris Chris Benoit would have looked tame. I I just can't even imagine like what my response would be. I don't know what it would be, but it would not be positive, right? Requirements to get back the internet. Please finish the housing assignment. Several pieces were not complete. Zena and I have gone through and highlighted the parts that were missed. The uh, point of this assignment is to understand all the parts around renting. Two, we would like a brief write-up, one to three paragraphs, explaining the specific issue that Zena spoke to you about. Specifically, the tendency to not fully communicate information about jobs or chores and giving each of us different information. The issues around completing tasks fully and any house rules discussed. See your journal. <laughs> they, they run this apartment like a kindergarten. Spawn contributed more than that bum, Zena. Yeah, what the f is Zena even doing? Hey, by the way, hey guys, I have not seen a single thing in any of these documents, in any of the videos that I've watched or listened to, in any of their videos where they're coping and seething and crying, okay? Is Zena literally just a warm body? Is Xena just like a human fleshlight for Poppy? What the f do they do? Also, Xena sleeps with Poppy. I imagine that's the prime contribution. Do they do they do like Patreon art? Do they do they? I, we know that they don't cook and clean. We'll see that in this document, okay? They don't cook or clean. They don't have a job. Yes, she exists. That's literally it. She's literally just a fat, nasty bed blob. Disability fraud. That's it. That's her job. True. I... I feel like if that was my existence, I would, like, unironically, like, that would be, that would, that would make me suicidal. If I, if my entire existence was l staying in an apartment that my girlfriend's child was paying the full rent on, and, like, my only responsibility was to restrict access that this child has to, food, bathroom, internet, clothes, anything. Like, I'm just like, like, oh, wait, hold on. I found, I just, I just actually realized what Xena's job is. She's the prison warden, guys. She's the prison warden. We'd like a brief write-up explaining the specific issue that Xena spoke to you about. You didn't, you didn't complete your tasks fully. Xena's going to have to grab the truncheon. You don't want to, you don't want Xena to get the truncheon again. She might get a migraine, and you won't like Xena when she gets a migraine. Dude. Um, I had the following tier. They're literally physically printing out shit and highlighting it? Bro, I'm seeing red right now. And I knew that this was in the document. I just never saw the pictures. I'm seeing red right now. Sorry. Add the following to your logs. Also save the following directions to continue using for your write-ups. Fix past logs and tasks with the needed information and complete every single requirement. Read each word highlighted. Bro, the passive-aggressive highlighting of the read each word. Your resume must be made in Word and then saved as a PDF when you are ready to hand it out. Do not put in HTML slash CSS. If you don't have Word, then let me know and I will get you a program to use. Did Poppy just like have some dream of being a college professor and like gets off to the idea of writing out like a syllabus every week. This is some asshole millionaire leaving instructions to this maid type shit. This is like someone kidnapped, kidnapped someone, groomed them into never running away, and then, <laughs> and then you know, in the locked ass house that they are now the live-in sex slave 
like the Cinderella made for this is the millionaire groomer sex abuser type shit that you would see. Like this is this is like serial killer shit. I don't know. This is really so weird. Sorry. Um List of specific apartments that you are interested in and some information about why you're interested and any other notes to each apartment that is useful, such as cost, utilities, concerns, pros, cons, list, or use multiple websites. Okay. Have what was worked on during your appointments and give details. Must be more than one sentence. <laughs> Must be more than one sentence. We need the link for the documentation that you keep your for jobs applied to when you apply it, including the information from number three. What was number three? List specific jobs applied to with company name, job title, and link to job listing. This person is 24 years old. This person is 24 years old. Why the f does the... Do they need the name of the company, the job title, and link to the job listing? Here's the spreadsheet. This is... They put notes. I can't believe this. Not what we, not what was asked for. Check Craigslist for possible rooms. What about utilities and internet? Not a good indicator for overall apartment experience. These are all negative. Uh, I kill myself. <laughs> Under uh. I need consistent internet to uh, work on this. Understood. Utility costs should be able to be calculated online. Hey, Spawn, two things. Can you let me know after 7 p.m. when you are uh, done getting dinner so we can start cooking? Why don't you guys just like all cook together? <laughs> if you want to discuss the assignments today, let us know when. When we have time before we cook and after dinner before stream. Cut off to send it in is 8 p.m. After that, it will be too late and we'll... And we'll have to look at it tomorrow after work. Do you want to get dinner first so I can keep working on this? I'm not super hungry at the moment because I had a pretty substantial lunch. So that was March 20th of last year. Jumping forward to April 23rd. Okay. Why, why, why are the screen caps so dark? Um... You're going to need to do before you leave. Let me be clear. Be upfront about your plans. Telling us randomly is not acceptable. Also, we work two jobs. You know this. I honestly, we work two jobs. What do you, what other job do you have? I'm sorry. What other job do you have? Is, is the stream the other job? You work as a therapist. You should have enough money to, to pay for like basic rent without mooching off of your child's trust fund. I honestly don't get why you act like this. Okay. Is Saturday fine then? Y'all told me the weekend, so I'm asking about the weekend. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Friday is a work day, and you asked about Friday. Okay. Is Saturday fine then? Y'all told me the weekend, so I'm asking about the weekend. Oh, I'm sorry. What is wrong with you? Friday is a work day, and you asked about Friday. What do you mean, what is wrong with me? Why are you attacking me for no reason? This isn't attacking. You keep changing the story. The, okay. This is attacking. Xena is a piece of shit. Okay. This isn't attacking. You keep changing the story. Go back and read what you wrote. You basically sound like Friday or bust and then asked about Saturday. I was going to ask about Saturday after Friday, but Friday was a better day. You haven't been up from with any of your plans. Would Friday work for me to start moving? The new housemate goes out of town the next day, so I want to get the keys before then. This implies that you have a deadline that you need to do a thing by. There, uh, before you, oh my God, the f Zena debate broing her her partner's child. This implies that you have a deadline that you need to do a thing by. Quid pro quo, ipso facto. <laughs> Before you start moving, you do have obligations to this current living situation, too, that you need to discuss how you're going to help take care of them. It, what? Like what? We didn't know that we needed to have this talk with you this soon. 
what, what sort of obligations is a 24 year old who's already paying your rent, you nasty, disgusting, smelly bed blob? What obligations does she have to you? Yeah, you're not getting out of your chair anytime so off. Like, uh, imagine if Zena did get out of the chair. Imagine the smell. Ugh. I could plan another trip out uh, to blank. Scheduling things together was just a was just a convenience. Next time, please make it clear when dates are flexible at the start. Spawn, this whole thing is an extremely poor way to... Oh my god, Xena is just laying into her. I honestly suggest that you write something up for us with... What, oh my, another write-up! We gotta write another essay for my uh, mom and her... Mentally deranged, migraine-ridden, unable to get hold down a job because she's just so disabled. Sad bed blob of a partner. Jesus Christ. Um, just write another essay, Spawn. Uh, breaking boundaries as you leave isn't really, uh, isn't a really, uh, or is a really bad look. Okay, I'm sorry for not communicating. Three more messages, gotta, gotta throw those in there. I think you honestly need to consider how you want to leave here. Do you want it to be on bad terms or amicable terms? Right now, I'm watching you destroy your relationships with both myself and your mom. If you're actually sorry, then stop doing this behavior. This is you making choices. Holy shit. Zena is like unironically like the evil stepmother. Like actually. It's like a caricature of a evil stepmother. Dog, I would I would explode immediately. There would be like there would be no like that was a weird interaction. Maybe they're having a bad day. No, I would I would be so un unbelievably unbelievably pissed. Okay. Grumble, grumble, my mom completely without any warning talks about a lot of bronies turning out to be me. You say things without warning for, uh, you say things without warning for things that need warning. Sorry for talking about bronies without warning you. <laughs> I was referring to the pedophilia part, actually. Actually, bronies are less egregious than pedophilia. I know that's a shocker to you, mom, but... Pedophilia is way worse than the bronies. Poppy makes a joke about a lot of, bro of bronies turning out to be one that essentially says they're synonyms and starts laughing. Me, some of the things you think are funny aren't actually that funny. No, you're just overly sensitive sometimes. <sighs> this is about the same time that Brit, Brit's galaxy brain, came to her about Lily Orchard. Oof. My mom has opinions on triggers. Um, me. Person doesn't want to watch show because it's a trigger because of reason for trigger. Did you tell them that's a bullshit answer? No, I didn't because it's not a bullshit answer. Uh, I said one of my friends has a phobia of dogs and my mom went, did you tell them they're a bad person? Like, just because you love your dog doesn't mean someone's phobia isn't valid. Or when I say pedophilia jokes aren't funny, she called me too sensitive. Listen, maybe the hey, listen. Maybe behind the scenes, Poppy's got a really edgy sense of humor. Maybe, maybe behind the scenes, Poppy's actually really funny. <laughs> They're coming for C on this one. Oh, I was about to say, why? You're calling him a, but you're calling him a brony. But they're the same thing. Um. Let's see here. I hate how much I hate how much Xena this is uh May eleventh. Xena hoarding the bathroom. I hate how much Xena hoards the bathroom time. They're not even using it, but they won't let me shower because they might have to piss. I've I've heard about this, but I haven't read the the specifics, so <laughs> they won't let me shower because they might have to piss. Like, I've told you so many times you're allowed to just go while I'm showering. I don't care. Hey, listen, I would care. To be fair, I would care. If someone walked into the bathroom while I'm in the shower and they just started pissing, I'd be a little livid. But, uh, 
but I was walking around in 80 degree heat and it's already been a few days since I last bathed. So I like wanted to shower as soon as I got home, but no. So that was at 6.01, almost two hours later. Screams, finally I get permission to shower. And then Zena goes, actually you should wait till we get home so the dog won't be alone for the 15 to 20 minutes you'll be allowed in the, sh or you're, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you will be allowed to shower, but for the 15 to 20 minutes you'll be in the shower for? Just take the shower. Say that you had the dog in the bathroom with you and you were watching it the entire time. I think I would actually get, I, I think that I would actually, uh, I, would, I, I would have a mental break living with these people. You're not allowed to shower because I might have to piss while you're in the shower. Hold it then. In addition to the migraines, does Xena like literally lack the, the, the plumbing down there to hold the piss? And then if I was finally like if I if I was somehow able to get over that, which I don't know if I would be able to, but if I was somehow able to get over that, if they then said like, no, actually, you have to wait for a couple of more hours in your stinky, sweaty, nasty, several day old clothes because we're not letting you shower. If they then said, actually, wait for longer. <laughs> because the dog will be alone for 15 to 20 minutes. I think I might actually have a full mental break from reality. I think I might actually go postal. There would be bodies everywhere, including my own. Because I would first kill myself and then I would haunt everyone like the conjuring style. And then everyone would be dead around me. I would kill them as a ghost. Like I, the amount of rage just from reading that is unbelievable. Jesus Christ. Um, someone really, uh, loves the ripe smell of 40 old, 20 year olds. Let's be real. Hey, you know what? Maybe Xena really is just that freaky. Everything they do sounds like the only purpose is to go on a petty power trip. Um, I don't know if these power trips are petty. They feel petty, but I feel like they're very intentional and very vindictive and very power grabbing. Well, well, hold on. They're, yeah, they're, they're petty, but petty, I would assume in implies that it's intentional, vindictive, and power-hungry. Like, you're doing it because you just want to fuck with them, right? It's to make sure they can hold on to the trust fund. True. One million percent. Because they don't want to get a job. Because it's way easier being just like a, a sleeve for Poppy and, you know, complaining uh, about shit online all day and then, like, writing out manuscripts for your partner's child to go through and highlight like a kindergarten worksheet jesus christ dude um don't move my stuff this is 10 days later don't move my stuff at some point in the evening can you hit up dishes Zena is shopping and i am working on notes oh so Zena can go shopping by herself she's not too mentally disabled to go shopping and walk through a grocery store by herself but she is too mentally disabled and to say and you know physically disabled to get a job i don't know if there's anything illegal that's been done here but being that kind of person i'm not even just talking about the abuse part i'm talking about like the fact that you can go shopping and you can walk around the supermarket and you can do all these things but you can't get a job you can write out worksheets coloring books you can you can coordinate with your partner to sexually abuse discord kittens but you can't get a job let's be real that should be illegal okay um i would really prefer not to i've been uh feeling burnt out and tired for a while now damn i wish there were timestamps on this oh 33 minutes ago one minute ago Instantly, Xena pops in from the grocery store. <laughs> I ask you not to move my stuff on the couch. Please don't move my stuff anymore. You told me to wait five minutes. I waited closer to ten minutes, and instead of moving it, you decided to lecture me about leaving my, my door open. Oh my god. 
Bro, I'm actually, I don't know if I can do this. I actually don't know if I can do this. This is the most ridiculous shit. I'm actually getting angry reading this shit. This is actually the most unhinged. Like, oh, I would, I'd be murderous. This, you know what? Like the, the, the stuff earlier from Spawn, uh, you know, like, oh, don't make a joke about bronies being it upsets me. Oh, don't uh, don't make fun of people who don't like dogs. Some people have phobias. Yeah, a little soy. Um, can we just like take a, a second to just take a deep breath and like put yourself in Spawn's position and think about how much of a saint, how much of a, how much of a, how how much like mental fortitude that this person must have to deal with these people in their life for. However long they've been, wait, didn't, didn't they say that like Xena and Poppy had been together for like 10 years, 10 years or some shit like that. Bro. If my, if one of my parents started dating someone when I was 14 and this was the person I, I, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. I would have, I would have become a violent person. You haven't dropped any slurs? Listen, I'm not trying to get canceled, okay? I have job prospects, all right? These other streamers, they can drop slurs all they want. I have job prospects. I waited closer to 10 minutes, and instead of moving it, you decided to lecture me about keeping my door open. Then don't move it. I still not said not to. I'm trying to go to the... Or I'm trying to leave to go to the grocery store. I've been... Trying to leave for the last hour. You could have asked for clarification. You forget stuff too. How about instead of like taking all the effort to type out these five billion messages, you just go move your shit off the couch. You should see my list of words to remove from the VODs. Rope is on the list. Oh, you should add noose. I, I didn't say rope earlier today. I said noose. So you should, you should. Anyways. Continuing on. Um, I'm trying to go to the grocery store. You could have asked for clarification. You forget stuff too, but can't give me that benefit of the doubt. Now I have a big ass pile to sort and you don't even know what is any of it. The pile is, is the same size as it was before. It's just in a different spot. No, it's not. Stuff was separated and at least somewhat sorted. The fragile stuff was in one area. Do not move my stuff anymore. No exceptions. I, I would be, I would, I would be just as petty. I would be moving their shit constantly. And I would be, and I would just like deny it. Like, no, like, oh, your favorite mug was not in the, in the cupboard. It was at the, you know, it was in the back of the freezer behind the peas. I have no idea how that got there. No, I would never touch your mug because like a situation like this might happen. I would never touch your mug. I would be doing some shit like that, dude. Like constantly with all of their shit. And wait, uh, quick aside story. I did have a, a roommate, my first roommate in college, um, who would do some like petty ass weird shit to me because I would get on to him for not cleaning because I was cleaning the entire apartment every time. And he was like doing gross shit constantly, like wiping boogers on the wall and shit, right? So I started getting onto him like, hey, if we're both going to share this living space, you're going to do like something, right? You're, you're not going to wipe boogers on the wall at the, at the bare minimum. That's something you're not allowed to do, okay? Boogers go in napkins, okay? You know what? I would actually rather you eat your boogers than wipe them on my wall, all right? Boogers go anywhere but on a surface that I might have to see. All right. And he would do these weird petty things like put jelly on my shit. He like I would just find grape jelly in the weirdest places. And the only way that they could have gotten to those places is through intentional no, it was, it was literally grape jelly. You could smell it. It was the same color as the Welch's grape jelly we had in the fridge. He just did that. 
he took a small handful of it and coated the the wires from my TV to my computer and my game systems in it. He put it on the underside of what was it? I I can't remember if it was a book or a laptop. I feel like I would have gone like actual Joker mode if it was a laptop, but so it must have been like a book. Um, and he would either say like I didn't do that or Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that there was jelly there when I set that down. This is how you get ants? We did get ants. Because <laughs> I didn't find... Cause who, how often do you touch the cords on the back of your TV? Like, it took me a while to find some of these. And just for every perceived infraction towards him, he would put some jelly on some of my shit. And it was the weirdest thing. I... I I'll have to tell you guys more about that roommate story sometime or the multiple stories. While eating a jelly sandwich? No, because I don't like jelly. Yeah, he was an actual jelly terrorist. Um, okay, back to this. Sorry, I, just got, I had a flashback for a second. All right, now I have a big-ass pile to sort. Um, the pile is the same size as it was before. It's just in a different spot. Um, no, it's not. Blah, 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 blah. Do not touch my stuff. I didn't want to get yelled at for not replacing the couch cover later on. Do not move my stuff. That's it. <laughs> oh, look at Poppy. The peacemaker. Folks, let's drop it for now. We talk later when people have calmed down. <laughs> the Poppy has called the Xena off. Timestamps for Xena's messages. These are seconds apart. Holy shit. Yeah, I I would have I would have I would have grown up a violent child if this was what I grew up with. I wasn't aware you were roommates with Nick Fuentes. Hold on. Why is what does Nick Fuentes have to do with grape jelly? Can someone explain that to me? Is there some connection with Nick Fuentes and grape jelly that I've never heard about? I've heard, I've heard cookies. I've heard booger Nick. Is it the booger thing? It's the booger thing. Okay, gotcha. I didn't make that connection until just now. Yeah, it's the booger thing. So I would have rubbed jelly all over the shit? No, because even I'm not that deranged, okay? I would have moved their shit if they were so mad that I, like, moved their shit from the, from the couch to the table and they were doing this shit blowing my phone up seconds apart with messages pissed the f off you know what if this xena dumb whore i'm sorry i'm actually it is so this is this sort of behavior actually pisses me the f off so f bad sorry guys i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna chill out a second okay if if some stupid f whore like xena uh were to message me like this okay I, even I'm not so deranged to put jelly on their stuff. But like, if this stupid has the has the wherewithal, the mental capacity to get this angry, right? Oh, I'm seeing red. I have to shoot this many texts. I'm so mad right now. Like, if, if she can do that, she can work in like customer service. Okay, she can do that. I don't believe the migraine stories at all. I don't think that she gets migraines. I don't think that she's disabled. I'm sorry. If she can do all of this other shit, walk around and go grocery shopping by herself without her caretaker, without her helmet on, without any of that shit, without her wheelchair and all of that shit, if she can do that, and she can get this pissed off without getting a migraine, she can work in a fast food drive through Jesus Christ. All right, let's move on. So that was May 21st. This is a couple of days later, June 2nd. Oh. Three days of dishes. I'm sick of everything. I'm sick of living here. I'm sick of my parents nagging me for every tiny little nitpick. You uh, cannot offload three days of dishes on me and then get mad when it takes a long time. Hey, Spawn, dishes seemed like they took a while. It is now later than we planned. Wait. 
Dishes seemed like they took a, a while. It is now later than we planned. We will have to postpone a house meeting. I'm going to need you to work on your room tomorrow because we have a we have Molly made Friday. Hold on, what what the f is Molly made? Is that a maid service? Oh my god. They have Molly made. They have, they have the money to buy a maid, but they don't have the money to pay for the rent. So they have to have the child's trust fund that their dead mother set up for them pay for the rent. Oh, unless they're paying for the Molly maid for their two-bedroom apartment with their child's trust fund money. These people need to go to jail. And one of them is a stay-at-home mom. Imagine being such a mess that you have to clean up before the maid comes. Well, I mean, you're supposed to. The maids do, like, the deep cleaning, right? Like, you don't want them to organize your shit. Because if there's shit all over the ground, they're going to organize your shit, and then you don't, you don't want that. I have panic... Uh, I have panic... Uh, I almost said bought a maid. Uh, hired a maid. I have panic hired a maid before <laughs> to... Uh, to clean up for, for big events, so. Or is the maid a euphemism for f buddy? Well, I don't think that they have to do the dishes for the f buddy to come over, right? Okay, so we're, we will attempt to have the meeting tomorrow, okay? I will say it's frustrating because we were waiting for you and there were not a lot of dishes. Wait, I will say it is frustrating because we were waiting for you and there were not a lot of dishes. Please be more mindful in the future. There were a lot of dishes, though. Oh, okay, I understand what's going on here. I'm sorry. I'm so they made her do the dishes, three days of dishes. There weren't a lot of dishes. Please be more. So they're blaming all of like the lateness on, on the kid. That's so stupid. There were a lot of dishes, though. And then they got mad at me for waking up late and got mad at me for starting my bedtime or starting my bed routine 30 minutes late. And also, like, I am 22, but every aspect of my life is timed. I still have a bedtime. They enforce a bedtime for their 22-year-old child. <laughs> and they keep moving said bedtime earlier and earlier because I'm not doing other things on time. I literally have ADHD and autism and a heart condition. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. I was about to do the, I'm literally autistic and a child or whatever the Neurodivergent and a minor. Um, this reminds me way too much of our shit dad who made monthly schedule calendars, not just for me, but also for our mother, his ex-wife. Uh, that bedtime shit is completely unacceptable, full stop. Like, I can't always do things on time, especially in the heat, because my blood disorder uh, means heat affects me much worse. I literally collapsed a few weeks ago, um, and we don't have AC and haven't since March. It is June. Why don't you have air conditioning? Uh, oh, sorry. I forget. I live in Texas. If, you're, if your air conditioning goes out in December, it, you have to get it repaired immediately. Otherwise, you're going to have heat stroke. I, I was about to say, like, how the f*** did they survive in a two-bedroom apartment with no AC up to June? Like, I was about to lose my mind. How? But, um... Especially in the heat because my... Uh, blood disorder, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do parents not realize they're realize forcing their kids to be so micromanaged by them will hurt us and often make us codependent and have poor self-management skills? Pots isn't a good enough excuse for not waking up on time. My entire life has to be on their schedule and not on my own. <laughs> Texas here, too. Same thought. Yeah, no. I, if the AC was out for a week, I, I would probably rope, like, immediately. I can't imagine. You don't even have EC? I mean, you... There are literally, like, caribou and reindeer where you live, okay? Like, you don't need AC. Damn poor people without AC. They, listen, these people are in port. They have at least a couple of, you know, a couple of Gs in their kids' uh, <laughs> trust fund, okay? They're not poor, okay? What is POTS? Um, postural or... The static tachycardia syndrome. Syndrome. A group of system. Okay. I don't. I, I'm sorry. I actually don't care. 
I think the things to know are lower amount of blood in the circulation, excessive pooling of blood below the level of the heart when upright, elevated of certain hormones such as epinephrine, also known as adrenaline since it was released by the adrenal glands. Okay. Um, pots, sorry, I'm running out of steam a little bit. We might have to finish this one because we're only like <laughs> a third of the way through and I'm like getting so angry. I'm talking for too long on each screen cap. I, I, it's, it's just like it's actually triggering the out of me. If someone talked to me like this, I, I would, I would, I, I am a lover, not a fighter, but this is, this is making me into Rambo. Okay. I would, I would find, I would find something. I would find a heavy object and I would either slam it into my face until I was no longer able to, or I would slam it into their face until I was no longer able to. Anyways, um, Spawn is 5'1", weighs 80 pounds when healthy? Jesus. This is not a product of the abuse, but consider how much smaller they are than P and Z on top of the pots. Sanso will miss his bedtime in Minecraft. Can still get up to 110 near Caribou? Uh, listen, you need to get the fuck away from whatever, like, temporal, like, hellscape that you're in, okay? Can't eat if you miss your scheduled eating time. I was late on getting to the kitchen and Zena told me I wasn't allowed to get lunch, which is not acceptable. I need food. This Zena needs to die <laughs> i'm sorry in a, in a minecraft obviously i don't literally mean that this xena person needs to be put in a straight jacket and put in a cell hundreds of feet below the surface of the earth in a lead-lined room we can be a little kind we can play their cartoons on a big screen in the corner This is disgusting. I'm sorry. I hate, I hate the fuck out of this. Straight? Oh, listen, I, I didn't mean anything by the straight jacket comment, okay? I, didn't, I accept their, their, their identities. It's all valid, okay? Aren't these people young? Why does it sound like you're describing a, a retirement home? <laughs> the oldest person in this apartment is 40 years old, okay? I was late in getting to the kitchen and Zena told me I wasn't allowed to get lunch, which is not acceptable. I need food, especially because I need more food than I usually do. Um, I get that I was late, but I need food. I should be allowed to get food when I need it. I'm sorry I was late, but I still need food regardless. This poor, this poor stupid bastard is paying for their parents' rent, and their parents aren't letting them access the kitchen when they want. Me. We have a schedule in our house. You need to follow that. <laughs> the anger's rising. Xena doesn't get personal time with constant interruption. While I agree with you that making lunch shouldn't be an issue, in the past, the problem, uh, the problem is that often making lunch has been noisy or a time to overly interact with Xena. <laughs> Are they feral cats? They're human beings. They should be who live in the same house under the same roof. They should be able to interact in a in a common area such as the kitchen without literally clawing each other's eyes out. I'm sorry, Poppy. You should be able to talk to your partner and tell them, "Hey, by the way, you're not a feral cat, and neither is my child. You can pass by them without literally coming to blows." Fuck. Even with feral cats, like when when me and my girlfriend introduced our cats to each other, like when I moved in over here with her and we I brought my cats with me. You know what? We let them sniff underneath the door and like. After, like, you know, a couple of days, we open the door, they're chill. For the most part, you know. But, like, they're chill. How the f*** is this subhuman piece of shit? How is this subhuman piece of shit not able to be in the same room as the child? I don't know. Often lunch making has been noisy or a time to overly interact with Xena. I will talk to Xena about the situation, but I need you to hold to our schedule. Talk later. No, not talk later. I'm hungry now, you dumb cunt. Uh, you are also positive with COVID. That is an issue as well. Please remember that. The schedule as a whole is more important because it will prevent close contact. One of the symptoms I've noticed is that COVID makes me significantly hungrier, which is the other reason this is such an issue. So seven days later, one week later to the day, 
yells, I go to take my meds. I can't because my water bottle's empty. I go to refill my water. Our water got shut off again. I go to get the filtered water from the fridge. Xena yells at me for waking them up during their alone time. You you guys have literally seen me scream. I, I, I have said slurs on stream to people out of pure rage. I have literally never felt this angry on stream before. This is actually like demented. I go to get, I go to get the filtered water from the fridge. Xena yells, is there bed in the kitchen? Yeah, is your bed in the kitchen? No? Then shut the up i'm paying your rent you bed blob the the only like the only like pen prick of hope at the end of the tunnel you know like one thing that like the kid can keep in mind is at the end of the day even though that the kid actually has something like diagnosed that like is like a disability that like makes it hard for them to like get around and like can cause them to faint and stuff like given their lifestyles Xena is much more likely to die before the kid, right? Like, it, it could, like, literally be just, like, sepsis from lack of any activity literally ever. The diabetes from the lack of exercise, the lack of, like, proper, proper nutri nutrition, uh, you know, like, you can't sit around all day for your entire life and be healthy. You're going to die. As a result of your actions. Jesus. The kitchen sofa turns into a bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I explained that I need water and our water got shut off. Xena says I should have gotten it ahead of time. Which I literally would have. No way to predict our water would get shut off. My parents never tell me when we get emails from our apartment complex. So I would have no way of knowing. The next day. Convinced Zena is genuinely trying to starve me. I was about to make spaghetti and Zena told me to make something quick because they need, needed food and I should have gotten food at 7. Their meal time is at 8. They should have gotten food at 8. Wait, what time did you try to get food? And I should have gotten food at 7. Their meal time is at 8. They should have gotten food at 8. Then I, should have, then I go, so, so they can break the time schedule. Right? If their meal time is eight, but they want it later, they can do that. But she can't. I'm assuming that creature of the night or spawn is a girl. I don't know why. Um, then I go to make a PBJ, but realize I don't have any jelly. So I ask my parents if I can use their Smucker's brand one, and they say yes. I already put peanut butter on one half of the sandwich at this point. Realize the Smucker's jelly is moldy and smells really bad. So I ask if I can use the other jelly in the fridge that uh, that's Zena's for. Um, Oh, that's Xena's for, need I remind you, one singular sandwich. And Xena says no and goes, if I let you use it, I won't have any left. My mom has to convince them, convince them to let me use their jelly for one singular sandwich. If have, I think, okay. I'm really not feeling well, so I asked uh, my mom to go to the pharmacy for me. She says no, but she'll take me to the pharmacy. Wait. Oh, she'll take me to the pharmacy, which is fine, whatever. And then she gets mad at me for not asking how... Oh, I'm sorry. That was 628. So, four days later, salami. Oh, man. I, I'm, I'm getting so pissed off. Uh, listen, well, I, I, I'm going to have a, a, a time cut off here in about 10 minutes where I need to end stream. Because uh, I myself need to eat. And it is my allotted eating time. Uh, and if I don't eat immediately at 7.30, then my girlfriend's actually going to shoot me um, for breaking our, uh, our, you know, chore wheel and our scheduled uh, meeting times that we have in Google calendars. So I, I would just want you guys to be empathetic of that really quick. Um, but if you guys want to, like, join me tomorrow for the reading the rest of this document, please subscribe. Okay, we're going to try and get to, let's see. We'll we'll get to we'll get to plastic cups in the dishwasher. Okay, we're on salami. <laughs> I don't like these chapter names. I'm not really feeling well, so I asked my mom to go to the pharmacy for me. She said, "Oh yeah, yeah." yeah. Um, she's upset that I don't check in and see how they're doing first before asking for help. Wait, hold on. So take me to the pharmacy. And then she gets mad at me for not asking how they were doing first. 
She's upset that I don't check in and see how they're doing first before asking for help. But then they never ask me how I'm doing it before asking me any, for anything either. And then she got mad at me for trying to check the dog's paw when I know she was limping. And it was like, the dog's fine. Oh, you can't check the dog's paw when it's limping, but like, you can't leave the dog alone for 15 to 20 minutes to take a shower? <laughs> we get in the car and she basically says that I wouldn't be so sick if I were taking care, care of myself better. And she wants me to do protein powder again and drink like straight up salt water and said it's not my fault that I'm sick. Uh, and I said it's not my fault that I'm sick. And she said, there you go again. You're not even listening. No one said the word fault. And said I had code for only two weeks, and I'm not sick anymore. And I said, I had COVID for only two weeks, and I'm not sick anymore, and I don't know what she wants from me. I'm not putting the bigger vent in here, so uh, I'm too exhausted. Oh, my God. The, the, I realize they're probably also triggered as f in typing this stuff. The, the syntax and the lack of punctuation is me out bad. Um, not putting the bigger vent in here. I'm too exhausted to go over it again. But just found out the salami is now labeled poppy only there's no other salami in the fridge and plus salami is the only sandwich meat i eat plus i'm the one that paid for it fellas do you guys do you guys dream of having a kid so that you can uh so that you can emotionally manipulate them into being your house slave for the first 24 years of their life so that they can pay for all of your food so that you can uh take the food that they paid for themselves and slap a big old post-it note with your name on it Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. You know, actually, you know, I changed my entire mind. I'm actually super excited to read the rest of this. Poppy and Xena are based, all right? There have never, I've never seen such, like, you, you can go all over the internet. You can look for all different kinds of resources to try to manipulate people to, to bend to your will. But no one holds a candle to Xena and Poppy. They are a master class in manipulation. You know what? Honestly, goals. Goals. Um, not putting the beer. Uh, uh, so I'm the one that paid for it. She's not going to notice two slices are missing. The package was open like today. I know we shared the last package because this one is unopened the day before yesterday, which means we shared the last package. So if she really wants to claim packages as separate like that, she shouldn't have touched the other one. Each box has two packages of salami in it. If she claims one for herself, she doesn't get to touch the other one. And yet. Also keep in mind, salami is like the only meat I eat regularly. She's the one who constantly tells me I'm not eating enough protein and acts like it's my fault that I'm sick for not taking care of myself, not eating enough. And then she pulls this shit. Mom blaming bad nutrition for my pots. And we have a, gr a guest over, so I can't even call her out. <laughs> I just say I'd have better nutrition if I had better access to the kitchen, bro. Hey, you know what? Based friend. Okay, last one. We will continue the rest. Listen, again, if you guys are watching on YouTube, even though we're approaching the end of the stream, like the stream. There's a discrepancy. 18 viewers, 8 likes. Bump up the numbers, guys. All right? It helps us out, and it will make it to where there's more people in chat tomorrow for you guys to uh, talk to. All right? 721. Plastic cups and dishwasher. Oh, yeah. Also, subscribe to the YouTube if you want notifications, all that. We have the dish... Or, I'm sorry. I'm reading the thing while speaking. We have the Discord link in the description of the YouTube stream. If you're watching on Kick, same thing. Blah, 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 blah. You can get announcement um, notifications. You can interact with our fun community. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sorry. I, I hate shilling, but I'm supposed to. Uh, plastic cups and dishwasher. I wonder what this emoji is supposed to be. I can't quite tell. All right, Xena, why are you putting recycling in the dishwasher? You're just going to melt the plastic cups. I'm glad you didn't run the dishwasher. This could have easily destroyed the entire dishwasher. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll go clean them now. It's my alone time. You can take care of it later. <laughs> this is... Like, it's actually kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Like, it's... It's honestly a little funny. It's a little funny. Actually, it's my alone time. And then when I apologize in person, like, an apology won't fix it. This is a horrible mistake that you should know better about. The dishwasher didn't even get run through. Nothing happened. Also, the dishwasher wouldn't break if you put solo cups in it. I'm sorry. 
This is literally Disney stepmother evil character. Yeah, I know. It's like it's cartoonishly evil. I, I I can't believe it. All right, hey guys, I love you a lot. This is it is fun. It is unironically the most infuriating thing I've ever read on stream in my entire life. Like bar none, no no joke, no no notes. It is actually the most disgustingly crazy, manipulative, abusive shit I've ever read in my entire life, and it's actually making me mad, but I am having fun with it. Hopefully you guys are having fun too. Um, I run the dishwasher with plastic cups. I assume they're talking about like red solo cups or some shit like that. Um, all right. All right. Kick chat. You guys choose. Choose your poison. Do you want XQC or Destiny? Those are the only two people that I follow that are live right now. We don't have any small streamers, so you guys get to choose a big streamer. And you have three seconds to choose. Three, two, one. All right, we'll send you guys to Destiny. All right, I love you guys. It's been fun. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Bye. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube. Or follow me on Kick, and uh, you know we have the memberships on YouTube. We have the uh, the subscriptions on Kick. If you guys want to, you know, throw a couple of bucks my way, there are some uh, nice little treats for you. Uh, you know, different emotes and uh, different uh, AI things that the editor can do for you. All right, I'm really bad at promoing. I love you guys very much. We're